Thank you for joining us. Happy Comic Con. Thank you for having me. <laughs> How does it feel, Final Vampire Diaries? Um, it feels, well, you know what's funny is last year I did like a three day Comic Con, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And it took me while I got home Sunday night 10 days to recover. My feet were swollen for a week. My voice was gone for two weeks. I swear I had bronchitis along the way. So I'm actually glad in a way that this is ending before I'm too old to have any fun. Because it does, it takes its toll. It's yeah. amazing. But other than that, I'm, I'm so proud to be able to be done in the way that we can all be proud of. But it's also sad. It's so bittersweet. So... I know, I know. It's great, it's great, but it's sad. Yeah. We're sad too. Thank you for being sad. We're going to savor those last episodes. <laughs> with you referencing the big bad as evil herself, is it like Nina and Deborah coming back? I'll put it this way. Nina has made a promise to come back to bring Elena full circle. Um, we haven't, you know, discussed if and how and when. Um, if she came back tomorrow and said, I'd like to be there for the whole season, then maybe Evil herself could, could be a little Elena or Nina or Catherine or whatever. But um, but right now, no, that's not what we made. <laughs> so because the original is in... <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> is mid-season, is that going to make it difficult to join a crossover? Yeah, it is. Um, not just because of mid-season, but because the timelines are going to be completely different. So my hope is that rather than crossovers, the originals will stay on the air for many years to come, and we can, you know, have our people drop into that world over the years. That would be my my dream. And then since people are dropping into maybe another world, are you going to be able to maybe use flashbacks or bring back people who have been in the first seven seasons of The Vampire Diaries for the final season? It is my goal to. <clears throat> To the extent that I can revisit all these people without completely humiliating myself as a writer, to see all of them again. <laughs> what are you most excited for fans to see in the premiere or the final season at all? I, honestly, what makes me so jazzed about the final season is how much we are circling everything back to the beginning. The tone, feeling, the horror sensibility, the relationships, the power of like the very simple dynamic between all these people. So it's just the nostalgia is what's got me so excited. It's a great story and lots of twists and turns, but at its core is a real emotional return to what we all fell in love with in the beginning. When you first started, Love story, of course, love triangle, and now the true love story almost seems to be the celebration of brothers. Yeah, which is awesome. Yep. Um, is, did you anticipate that happening? Like at the end, it's going to be about family, or were you like, oh, how are we going to decide between Elena and Selena? To me, in a perfect world, I will be able to deliver these characters the proper closure within the context of relationships and outside the context of, of love relationships. Um, and I think you hit the nail on the head. It is ultimately a story about these two brothers and what they will do to rescue each other from the depths of hell and, and find their way back to each other. And so I want to deliver on all of that before it's over. So the Twitter sphere is going crazy. Am I sterilized? Wedding. It's so funny. Everybody's been asking me that. Um, yes, in fact, there is a line in the pilot about uh, this, this, he's a Gemini. His favorite color is blue. We're planning a June wedding, um, so we'll just have to see if we if we if she was prophetic or if it was just a little whim and fancy of, of early of early Caroline Forbes. You have the amazing ability to like form partnerships with your um, co EPs and, yes. and do amazing things. And there's people saw Kevin on um, set. Is are you guys? I know that he's done stuff offline, but like, are you guys coming back together for the final season to do things? Well, he's coming. He's coming back in as much as he can while launching his new show. He um, he had to, you know take a lot of years away from it. And and when we started talking about it being in the end, he really didn't want to miss it. The show is as important to him over the years as it is to all of us. And he wanted to be part of it for nostalgic reasons. He wanted, of course, you know, as a co-author of it to make sure that he could be part of bringing the story to a close and so it's it's all good reasons coming from the heart uh, he's going to give us as much as he can and, and we'll carry it from there awesome thanks thank you thank you